guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, whichever it is. I probably need to move that jewelry rack. It kind of looks like I have stuff coming out of my head, but it's so cute, look. I know you're probably thinking that's so tall, but I'm real tall, so it works for me. So I thought since I just did a super cheap, affordable look, I might as well just do an over the top look of all the luxury makeup that I have all the way from my skincare down to my lashes. So let's hop right into it. So I got this little sample thing, this buy $50 worth of crap online, I'm a sucker. And I got some Tarte samples. So they have this eye cream, I think that's what this is. I'm sure this full size stuff is expensive. And no, no progress has been made on my nails. I've given up, I keep breaking them. Next, I'm trying this Drench and Quench mask from Bliss. Cream to water hydrator for all day moisture. I'll probably be able to have pretty nails soon because I have a torn labrum. Super exciting. I should put pants on. So this does feel really nice. It would be super good for oily skin for sure because it doesn't leave any type of oily residue. I also got a sample of the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I do have the Tatcha, which is probably more expensive, but I don't like it. So I am gonna try this. Which I have seen as best like pressed in violently. Make sure you turn yourself beet red. does seem to really <sighs> that does seem to really blur the pores and it doesn't seem like it it's gonna slip quite as bad as the tatcha now I already think I'm gonna want to buy that but I also got one of these bad boys, you know, half off, but also real expensive. And I'm gonna use my Lancome. It's probably the most expensive foundation I have, for sure. Seems so weird. Oh, hell. I feel like this is just gonna like annihilate anything I've put down. <laughs> Almost dries out the product it feels like. Not sure how I feel about that. Two minutes? Is that how long that thing is? I don't know. I'm actually going to try to spray this down with some primer water because it just feels so freaking dry. Even though all my other brushes are dry, there's just something like very dry about this. I don't know why I do that. I end up slapping concealer all over it anyway. It feels better. I don't know if it's going to work any better. that's too aggressive for like the nose area. It does look really good though otherwise on the skin and it did work pretty darn fast. A little patchy right around the nose. It just feels really dry. Gosh, when you do that, that looks terrible. Maybe the dry feeling is just the bristles, I don't know. 
I feel like I used a lot more foundation than I normally would. It does look really good actually. I don't know. I think I have to try that one with a few more items. I have a few Tarte concealers and the Too Faced, but I'm gonna try this sample because I've never tried the, the Creaseless concealer before. Okay, glue. Oh my gosh, that feels like glue. Is that normal or is this just like an old crusty sample? Oh. <laughs> There's no way that doesn't crease. There is no freaking way that doesn't crease. That feels like straight cornstarch and water. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like how that feels at all. Ugh. Someone's gotta tell me if this is supposed to feel this way. And I'm using my finger because I don't, I don't know. I don't, I also don't feel like there's a device in this world that would spread this around. So I talked about this in the last video and the best way to describe it is like half makeup sponge, half memory foam. That feels disgusting. I'm gonna go into my cream contour kit by Anastasia and I'm gonna use this and see how it does. Grits. Went a little heavy. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. We are not playing nicely with others. That is so gross. That is so patchy. I don't. I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh. Like what is, what is happening? That side does not look as bad. Doesn't look good. Let's see if we can't kind of make that go away. Ew. I don't think my skin looks like that normally. I really don't. I don't know. So, mm, yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to take this Real Techniques brush and apply just this little streak here and then blend it out. I've just never had a problem with this combo before, and this is just not cute. Like, I kind of want to wash my face and start over. Can y'all see that? It's just like lifting up the foundation in the weirdest way. Just right in that spot. That is so bizarre. So now that I know I hate that, I'm going to take it one step further and use it on my nose because I hate myself. Why, Sarah? Why?
Okay, so that doesn't look nearly as bad. Maybe I just have a defective face. I need to stop before I end up 12 layers deep. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but when I use this palette, I do my eyes first because some of it can be a little bit messy. So I'm just going to stop right here and get into my eyes. Use the spoolie from my e.l.f. pencil because it's not a disaster. And using the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown to do my eyebrows. Oh, just did anyway. Oh, cute. Did fix that nicely. going to use the Benefit Give Me Brow in this little miniature because I've never bought the expensive stuff because I didn't know I liked it. But honestly, I'm good with the $1 substitute from AOA. If I could just get this spoolie in there. Don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to start with Dijon, kind of all over my crease. I have with this palette is I want to use everything all at the same exact time. Now I'm going into Python. I'm sure you're wondering what the heck I'm doing and so am I. Using Teak right at the crease. Kind of looks like crap, I'm not going to lie to you. These are kind of muddying together quite a bit. Let's see if I can remedy this situation though. I had a plan, friends. I really did. Now I'm going to go into Aurora, which is this beautiful shimmery shade, and pat that more in the middle of my lid. Well, maybe all around. Well, Maybe I'll, you know, change my mind a hundred million times before we arrive at our final destination. It's really hard to tell, but that is so pretty. I think to liven this up, I'm going to do a little halo eye with some Julie's. And you know, this stuff is expensive, so sticking with the theme. Put 
that dry for a second and kind of try to blend this out a little bit better. So I'm going to go into Aurora just very lightly and tap that on the edges. We're going to go into Lime Chrome right in the middle there. the tiniest bit of sparks to really make that pop. So I think what I need to do to make this really work is tie in my lower lash line. And I really wish I would have done my eyes first. Okay, this could be like my new favorite tool for like this purpose because that kind of just made that go away a little bit. I'm back into Python. I think I'm going to use that blue kind of as a wing almost to cover up that bit of muddiness. Just a little bit of pigment on there. Going into Python, no, Aurora, so that shimmer blue shade. Almost all the way to my inner corner. This little tiny brush here from Sigma, it's a pencil E30, back into that lime shade. all towards my inner corner. I actually want to do a little bit right there. Now I know it looks like I have a black eye right now, but I think everybody knows that lashes and liner are miracle workers. So I'm gonna use my black Urban Decay Perversion Highlighter. Yes. Right along the edge there. I normally do this last. I think I've lost my freaking mind tonight. That, that's that's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna do my Stila waterproof liquid eyeliner. One day I'll show you guys how I actually do a wing. I'll stay on camera. Why? Why do I do this? Why? I swear. I have a Jacqueline Hill brush that I am obsessed with and obsessed with losing. Found it. It's like I it's like I do my job with it and then I just like throw it. Just totally abandon ship. To hell with you. BRB. These lashes really are good quality because I put them through the ringer last weekend. So I'm using my Lily Lashes in the style NYC and, and seriously, like I just went upstairs and I grabbed that. Come on now. Oh my God. You did. You grabbed your lipstick. And this velour lash glue. I do really like this lash glue. It works really good and it dries pretty quick too. Oh my gosh, mascara. Hello. 
So I don't really have any expensive as hell mascara. So I'm just gonna like keep opening different random ones. And this is the mascara and perversion from Urban Decay. Doesn't have great reviews, but I don't really care because just need something black for underneath my lashes. This is definitely very like light and wispy mascara. Works fine for this purpose. I'm not sure it's great standalone. This is new. Why are you doing that? No. No. I'm gonna need you to scooch on over there, friend. A little further over. <sighs> that looks real bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I might have pressed my look a little bit last weekend when I wore these. I might change my, I might pick some different lashes. Tux! I think I'm gonna give my lilies a night off and do some good old fashioned wispies here. I don't know. I think it might be just the fact that this is such a dramatic eye, but I wasn't, I wasn't loving that. Just being chill. Dog man. Now that I look like I've been punched in the face, I'm gonna hop off and do the other eye. All right, other eye is on, and I put some lipstick on too. I figured you guys didn't need to watch me struggle through that, and it's the Ofra Liquid Lip in Miami Fever. Um, it's probably like the most complimentary cool tone lipstick that I have, but it is not my favorite. I might change it out. Anyway, eyes are done. I look crazy. We should probably finish my face and hope for the best. I'm gonna throw on a little Dallas by Benefit. And I swear I have this trio of blushes that I have been looking for for I don't know how freaking long, but I can't find them, so. I'll use these. I'm gonna go for cash to try to brighten me up a little bit. And I didn't powder my face and that's because I don't feel like I need to. It's actually kind of sat down pretty nicely. My skin looks really good. And even though I was a little brat about that concealer, my under eyes do look very nice. For my face. OMG, almost forgot my brow bone. Losing it. It's a little milk mustache, never hurt anybody. I'm gonna go back into the Natasha Denona palette and a little bit of my Ofra highlighter. Got a little lift lip there. <laughs> what I want to do to bring a little bit of life back into my eyes, take a clean brush and go into this lime. 
chroma and tap that up to my brow bone. It almost gives it this wet look. It's super pretty in person. Now I'm gonna set my face, maybe a little primer water, melt it. Spray your face, woman. I need to get one of those fans. So this is it. I am gonna do my hair and show you what it looks like because this is too much for a little bobby doll. Man, my hair really uh, went for it today. Doesn't normally do this. I have been using that Briogeo stuff that came in the BoxyCharm, and I think it's working more than I'm used to. But anyway, this is the final expensive as hell look. Is it my favorite eye look I've ever done? No, I actually liked the cheap gold look I did better, but these eyeshadows up close are absolutely beautiful. If you've never had a Natasha Denona palette. Sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you're real crazy and you wanna see more. Let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. I will have a running total in the description box of everything I use today. Yikes. That's gonna be traumatic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.